we explored and investigated the most haunted spots across all the countries in the UK. This is going to prove every non-believer wrong. 100%. Any spirit that lurks in these vaults, if you want to communicate, please let us know you're here. We're messing with things that we shouldn't be messing with. I know it. It can't be... No, dude, I heard it. Can't it can't be the real, like... Is it truly you? Holy shit. Ah! What? What? Something just f***ing touched Yo. my back. Yo, chill, chill. Hi. Yo, two red ass marks going down. Oh my god! What the f is going on? He f right down the hall. Holy shit. Oh, Whoa! <laughs> what the f? Six. 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 One, two, three, four. Six. Five, six, six. Six. Six, six, six. What you do is wrong. You might not see it as wrong, but it bloody well is. Go away. Dude, tell me not, this looks so cool. This looks like a legit medieval castle. Damn, we just have the whole valley right here, the city lights and everything. And right behind us, we have a giant medieval keep. I'm Seth. <laughs> nice to see you, Nice Seth. to meet you, Simon. Oh my Welcome god. to one of the smallest Norman keeps in Great Britain. This is small? It used to be three <laughs> times a lot taller, would you believe? But, oh my uh, god. Owners, owners disappeared. But when it comes to ghost stories, it's a very, very good one relating to Clitheroe's Norman keep. Oh we'll turn the clock back now to the 18th of <laughs> August, 1648, when the castle and the grounds were garrisoned by royalist troops loyal to King Charles I. The company commander was called Captain Cuthbert, not particularly well liked, in fact hated by the people of Clitheroe and Ribble Valley. His men were foreign mercenaries, mm. and when they had problems with their wages, they used to steal local children from their parents for ransom money. If the parents could not pay any ransom money, the children were cruelly murdered. Some 48 children being murdered by the garrison from 1642 to 1648. That's when Damn. Oliver Cromwell yeah. arrived on the scene. Who was Cromwell? Well, he fought for Parliament. On the 18th of August, 1648, Cromwell arrived here in the town of Clitheroe with a huge army of some 32,000 men. The fighting here was quite severe, really, with infantry probes against this very, very wall. They were all repulsed by Cuthbert's men. Wow. Therefore, Cromwell said, bring up Humpty Dumpty. What was Humpty Dumpty? It was a breaching cannon, huge <laughs> cannon. It was an egg, right? A huge cannon. And it took literally an hour to load the thing and one second to fire it. They fired three salvos, the lower wall, middle wall, and right through the Norman keep itself. Is that the big that, hole right there? That is the same hole big in the hole. side of it. We like big holes. The white flag was raised, the garrison surrendered, and a crude POW camp was built right here. In the early hours of the morning, three royalist officers escaped. Lieutenant Casewell, Lieutenant Aitken, Captain Rockliffe. Mm. They escaped into the town of Clitheroe, but their uniforms quickly gave them away. All three men were brought back here on the orders of Oliver Cromwell to be executed by beheading. Wow, so this dude oh, was wow. just out Each for blood. Man had yeah. to literally kneel down in front of the limestone outcrop just here. Right here, they were beheaded right, right there. Exactly right here. Whoa. Their fellow POWs had to watch the execution as a deterrent. Each man made his way to the chopping block. The first man was Lieutenant Casewell. As he sat down, he shouted the words, God, save the king. He was Lord King Charles I, even in his last second of life. That's the most British thing I've ever heard. God, save the <laughs> king. Wait. Second POW arrived very, very quickly. That was Lieutenant Aitken. He knelt down. He too shouted, God, save the king. Before his head was severed from its spinal cord. Jeez. Then came Captain Rockliffe. <laughs> and he was taken to the very, very top of the key. And it said when he was beheaded, his head actually rolled down these very, very no steps. you gotta be kidding me <laughs> wait hang on one second yeah. dan could you say god save the king god like save the king there you go see you belong in movies man yeah, yeah. should do really should way back in april 1982 right. a police squad car arrived here uh half past two in the morning for a smoke break the three officers on board were enjoying their cigarettes they kept the engine running to keep them warm and above the sound of the engine they all heard the words god save the king 
Oh, an EVP. That's strange. Yeah. Half past two in the morning, a Tuesday morning, who in the right mind to be up there? They made their way up towards the top of the Norman Keep and shone their torches when one officer suddenly screamed as a royalist soldier turned and made his way straight to the limestone outcrop and straight through him. Wow. Now, these men had seen some very, very unpleasant sights as police officers do, yeah. but not one of them had seen anything as paranormal. They rushed down the stairs at great speed into their police vehicle, reversed at great speed, hitting a horse trough in the grounds of Clitheroe Castle. The police car was like right here, it right? It was right here. It reversed and hit the horse trough just this area here, causing extensive damage to the vehicle. It's sure. also one of the most famous landmarks relating to the Pendle Witches. Yes. Here we Would go. you like to hear here the story? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. We haven't told you guys that we're actually trying to contact witches. This place is part of that story, so listen. But we'll turn yeah. the clock back in time now to the year 1603, and at that period of time we had a great queen on the throne of England called Queen Elizabeth I. Oh, I love her. She led by example, loved by the people of England. When she died, she was replaced by King James VI of Scotland, who then became King James I of England. Mm. And this guy was absolutely paranoid about witchcraft. He not only believed that witches existed, he believed they were out to get him. On becoming King of England, he wrote a book called The Demonology Book. You can buy it today if you want to, in paperback. Oh. As you skip through it, how to find a witch, how to try a witch, and most importantly, how to eradicate a witch. He gave orders for every magistrate in Great Britain to go watching for illegal Catholic gatherings, but also witches' gatherings. Just to our right here, we have a very, very famous hill called Pendle Hill. In 1612, surrounding Pendle Hill was a huge forest, 50 miles long, 50 miles deep. And living in that forest were some very, very elderly ladies. A lady called Elizabeth Southern, 85 years old. Now, she had defied the laws of nature because life expectancy, if you were lucky, would be 35. There's no doctors, no dentists, no surgeries, no supermarkets. Mm. You lived off the land. She had lost her husband, but she had a daughter called Elizabeth Device. She had three children, James, Alison, Jeanette Device, and they lived in a small hovel on the side of Pendle Hill called Malkin Tower, which sounds great, doesn't it really? But it would have been a small, one-roomed limestone hovel. Living nearby in the village of New Church in Pendle, where you'll be going tonight, folks, lived another very elderly lady called Anne Whittle. She lived at New Church in Pendle with her daughter Anne Redfern. Anne Whittle was also over 85 years old. She too had defied the laws of nature. As I mentioned before, life expectancy, 35 if you're lucky. Wow. These two women, really Anne Whittle, Elizabeth Southern, hated each other with a vengeance because they were both involved in the same trade. And that trade was making herbal remedies, medicines if you will, and of course all modern medicines come from plants. Mm. Many people believe they lived for so long because they both knew about plants. But the hatred between them was gonna cost them both very dearly. And our story starts on top of Pendle Hill, way back in the 18th of March, 1612, when Alison Device, she is the granddaughter of Elizabeth Southern, she's 14 years old, had a walk along the length of Pendle Hill and had the misfortune of meeting a Halifax peddler called John Law. When I say peddler, John Law was basically a walking salesman. Large pack in his back, full of 1612 luxuries. Here we go from village to village, selling his wares. Alison saw him, she begged off him. Please, sir, you can spare just a few pins to pin me clothing together, sir. Get away with you, shouted John. Law. I'm not taking me pack off for you, lass. You've got no money. You're no use to me. According to John Law, the Halifax peddler, out of the bracken on the side of Pendle Hill appeared a huge black dog with snarling white teeth and glowing red eyes. The dog sat next to Alison and the dog talked. Alison, I can lame him for you. Lame him! What? Law felt this terrible pain on his left arm, his left leg, and collapsed on the side of Pendle Hill. He lay there for five long hours. The kind people of the town of Cone in North Pendle, a small town, they could see him. They got a stretch team together, carried him down the slopes of Pendle Hill into an old alehouse called the Greyhound Inn. The landlord, John Edrington, spoon-fed him, cleaned him, and as Law's voice returned, Law shouted, I've been cursed! There's a witch in the forest, a young lass with a dog, I swear to you! I heard the dog talk. She's in league with devil. Please send letters back to me family. John Edrington. The landlord of the Greyhound wrote letters back to Halifax. John Law's eldest son, Abraham, received the first letter. My father's in trouble, I better go and collect him. Set off, arrived in Cone, and walked into the old Greyhound inn and saw his father in a twisted and contorted state. Father, what's happened to you, man? You look terrible. Abraham, I met this young lass in the woods. She's got a dog. I swear to you, I heard the dog talk. She's in league with devil. I want you lad to go and find her, bring her here, reverse the curse. Abraham must have been a very, very brave lad. He set off and walked deep into the forest of Pendle, up the slopes of Pendle Hill, towards New Church in Pendle, 
and there he came across this little stone cottage. He did this by himself? He did it by himself. Yeah, no way. Sorry, uh, you're on your own. He came across the little cottage and he banged on the door. The door opened. He's met by a horrible, obnoxious aroma. At the door is James Devise, Alison's brother. Uh, can I help you, sir? I want to see Alison Devise. My father wants to see her. Where is she? Uh, she's in here, sir. Alison came to the door. Right, last year. Come in with me, shouted Abraham. He dragged her from the little stone cottage down into the town of Cone and into the old greyhound inn where she made eye contact with John Law, the Halifax peddler. Law looked up from his bed. It's you! You're the witch! You cursed me last, didn't you? That dog you had! I heard it talk, you little bit devil, aren't you? This 14-year-old girl, on bended knees, begged and begged forgiveness. She had no idea. She had just confessed to a state capital offence of witchcraft. And strange enough, John Law, the Halifax peddler, was about to forgive her, but not his son Abraham. Oh no, we'll have you for this. I'm gonna go and get the magistrate. Now the local magistrate lived in the village of Reed near Burnley, not too far from where we are now. He was in charge of the whole area. He had his book of demonology. He knew only too well about the king's paranoia relating to witchcraft. He also knew if he could incriminate this young girl, he was gonna curry favor with the King of England personally. So therefore, Alison was arrested, brought straight to Reed Hall, Burnley, the home of the local magistrate. And for the second time inside 24 hours, she burst into tears and begged and begged forgiveness. But she gave Roger Noel, the local magistrate, a lot of information. My grandmother, Elizabeth Southern, she's a witch. So's Anne Whittle of Newchurch, she's a witch. Whoa. And so's her daughter, Anne Redfern. We have familiars. What familiars? We have dogs, sir. Tib, Ball, Fancy, Dandy. These dogs belong to the four of us, sir. They came to us at different times of our lives, sir, and they've given us special powers. In return, they want to suckle from our flesh and take our souls, sir. We also make clay pictures, sir. We make dolls out of clay. We have taken hair and teeth off corpses at New Church Cemetery and put these on the clay pictures. We then listen to our familiars, Tib, Ball, Fancy, Dandy, and they tell us who to actually curse. We then crumble the clay picture over the fire, sir, and people die, sir. Whoa, so like... So they did a spell? You think, yeah. and, yes. they, and they admitted to doing witchcraft. Young Alison Device... She did. ...has admitted to it, but she's brought in her whole family here. So therefore, Roger Noel, the local magistrate, he's actually quite delighted because, as you quite rightly say, Seth, he's got a confession. Therefore, he gives orders to the sheriffs of the forest to go into the forest of Pendle and arrest Elizabeth Southern, arrest Anne Whittle, and arrest Anne Redfern. They are brought to read Hall Burnley, where they meet young Alison Device, and this huge argument erupts between the four of them. They all try to blame each other. Remember, these two elder women, Anne Whittle, Elizabeth Southern, they hate each other, so they try and blame each other. As a result, they admit to witchcraft. They admit to having dogs, Tib, Bull, Fancy Dandy, that gives them the powers. They are sent to the city of Lancaster, and they are thrown into what we call the Well Tower. It's a very deep underground dungeon. You are chained to the floor, the light behind you disappears, and there they are gonna wait in total darkness, in appalling conditions, for four and a half long months. In the meantime, Whoa. on yeah. the slopes of Pendle Hill, at the little stone cottage called Malkin Tower, Elizabeth Device is very, very worried about her mother, Elizabeth Southern. She's also very worried about her daughter, Alison Device, and she organizes on Good Friday what's called the Good Friday Meeting, where all these the so-called witches gathered in the forest of Pendle. It must have looked a bit like a Shakespeare play, really, as they got this large cooking vessel called the cauldron. Lit a fire beneath it, the black sip of liquid inside began to bubble in steam, and into that black bubbling liquid went clay pictures, the odd human skull, and the odd human teeth. The whole idea was to get a potion together to blow the gates of Lancaster City Castle open and rescue their loved ones. However, nothing happened. What did happen is word of the Good Friday meeting reached the ears of Roger Noel, the local Local magistrates, and he gave orders that every single person who would attend this meeting, the Forest of Pendle, should be arrested immediately. The people who were successfully arrested from being at the Good Friday meeting were Jeanette Preston of Gisborne, West Yorkshire, Catherine Hewitt, Alice Gray of the town of Cone, Margaret Pearson of the town of Padium, Elizabeth Device, James Device of Malkin Tower, John and Jane Bullcock, a mother and son, and by far the biggest star of the whole show, Alice Nutter of Ruffley. They are all sent to Lancaster with the exception of the two Jeanettes. Jeanette Preston comes from Gisborne, West Yorkshire, so therefore she is sent to the city of York. There she is paraded in front of the York City Magistrates. Her husband goes with her, villagers go with her, and they beg for her release. But the judges say, I'm sorry, the king has signed her death warrant. She was dead before she even arrived here. Wow, the king she found himself. She guilty of the murder yeah. of her employer, Mr. Thomas Lister of Gisborne. She'd been nursing him, he had died, 
she wrapped his body in a clean white sheet ready for burial and two days before the burial she touched the sheeting and some fresh blood came from the sheet. This was classed as witchcraft. She made a plea of not guilty but was found guilty by the king before she even arrived wow. in the city of York. The other Jeanette, the youngest of the Devise family, she's only nine years old, she's been sent to live with the local magistrate, Roger Noel. To use a modern term, she is being groomed by him. She has a nice warm bed to sleep in, nice clothes to wear, and three meals a day. And she's only too happy to incriminate her entire family. Jeez. The court was assembled. They brought in a star witness, the little girl, Jeanette Device, who had been living with the local magistrate whilst her mother, her grandmother, her brother and sister had been sent to Lancaster and she was put on top of a desk. Her mother Elizabeth noted that her daughter put weight on and looked to be very clean and respectable, wearing a lovely white dress and a blue bonnet and she'd obviously been enjoying life at the home of the local magistrate. And she started to tell the jury what had been happening at Malkin Tower, how these dogs had arrived. Her mother Elizabeth shouted, Stop it, Jeanette! You don't know what you're saying! Stop it! Have my mother removed from the court, sir. She's upsetting me. She continued to tell the courts how these dogs had arrived. Tib, Ball, Fancy, Dandy, how the dogs had talked to everyone in Malkin Tower and had been at the Good Friday meeting and told them to select certain victims. Her mother again shouted, Stop it, Jeanette! You don't know what you're saying! Her mother was then taken back down to the cells and she had to wait. At the end of that terrible, terrible day, 17 local people had been accounted for for witchcraft. It's well documented. It's one of the most famous stories in this part of the world, but this is where the story gets very, very twisted. Alice lived in the village of Ruffley. She was a wealthy lady and she complained about land disputes. She owned lots of land and her farmers had complained about stone walls being pushed back, cattle being stolen, etc, etc. And so she went to see the local magistrate. He did nothing about it. Alice made her way to the city of Lancaster and walked into a court session to the words of, it's a woman, get her out. She grabbed hold of furniture, she would not let go. The magistrate said, well, let her have her say. In one day, she won all her land disputes fairly and squarely and was awarded all her land back. Huh. As she left the city of Lancaster, there was a few Roger Noel, the local magistrate. This woman has gone over my head. I need to get rid of I need vengeance. How can I do it? The little girl that he groomed. For the second time that morning, he picked her up, put her on top of the desk. Jeanette, these people here, John and Jane Balcock, Alice Nutter, were they at your home on Good Friday in the Forest of Pendle at Malkin Tower? They were, sir. A look of wow. shock and horror came across their faces as they realised on the evidence of a little girl they had been found guilty of witchcraft. But she was lying. That's a good question, sir. We shall never, ever know. What we do know is she's been living with the local magistrate for three and a half months. She's put weight on, she's got nice clothes to wear. Mm. I believe she was groomed, Seth. Of course, they made pleas of not guilty. In the case of Alice Nutter, she was found guilty of the murder of Hugh Gayskill by witchcraft. She said that he wouldn't give her a penny. She said, sir, I don't need to beg. I'm a very, very wealthy woman. But the evidence of the little girl, the jury thought, you cannot manipulate a little girl. She's bound to be telling the truth. Mm. And the three of them were found guilty of witchcraft. I believe they were totally, totally innocent. The way I see it, very, very one-sided. We shall never know, but I do know in your marvellous country, Massachusetts, mm. it's Salem, some eight, seven years later, the Salem witch trials took place and they used exactly the same idea of the court by bringing in a child witness. Right. And they based the Salem witch trials on the Pendle witch trials. Dude, that makes sense. Because like, I was always thinking like, who even thought witches existed and how did witches even come in people's heads? Yeah. So it all makes sense. It yeah. started right oh, here yeah. in, in Salem when you were guilty as a witch, they were like burned to the stake as well. What did they do here? They didn't burn them here, right? No. Thank you for asking that question. That's very, very important. On the 20th of August, 1612, the Pendle witches were executed. They had their hands tied behind their backs. They had to climb to what we call the pillory, which is a horrible place of execution. Ropes are placed around their necks. And it has been said, never confirmed or denied, that as Alice Nutter turned with a rope around her neck, she looked down and saw Roger Noel, the local magistrate, holding the hand of the little girl, Jeanette Device. And Alice shouted from the gallows, I shall haunt you for the rest of your life. Whoa. And then the stools were kicked up underneath them. These people did not hang, they strangled to death. That's There's horrible. no drop. So overall, basically, the whole story here is that some people admitted to witchcraft while others didn't admit to it. Could have been lying, but we don't know for sure. But they got basically ratted on by this little girl who was the puppet of the, of the magistrate. Seth, you've got the story beautifully. Do you think that these people were actually witches? I do not think they were witches. That's my personal 
opinion. What we do find amazing, and do go on the internet, folks, mm. you will find a beautiful picture of Pendle Hill. The last piece of snow to melt is in the perfect shape of a white witch. So if you think these are not witches, do you believe that they could haunt this place based on the reasons why they were executed wrongfully? That's a fantastic question. In my view, I can see a miscarriage of justice. I can see greed from the local magistrate who knew about the king's paranoia. We've got the king who's paranoid. I feel that their spirits are crying out for innocence. Or vengeance because they're angry yeah. at everyone. Yeah. So yeah, yeah this yeah, is a really good story Imagine dying here. and being pissed because you're yeah, getting well, accused I mean, of something. I mean, if I was wrongfully accused and then hung, I would oh, yes. do everything in my yeah. supernatural oh, yeah. power oh, yeah. to come back and... Yeah. So the story here is they're either innocent people that were wrongfully executed or were actually trying to contact really vengeful witches. It's not a graveyard. No. What is it? It's a churchyard. Oh yeah, but it's a graveyard. No, it's not. It's a churchyard. Okay. Do you know what a churchyard is? Uh, where they keep the dead? No. It belongs to the Church of England. It's hallowed ground. Right, okay. It's not a place for people like you to mess about. It's a place where people who believe in a certain religion yeah. bury their dead so they can rest in peace. Right, okay. It's not, pri it's not public, it's private. Right, okay. It belongs to the Church of England and it is not a place for you to play games. Oh, this is not games. We're actually doing a documentary on Alice Nutter. Alice Nutter wasn't a bloody witch. She I know, was... no, we're not telling, telling the story so about why do you, why do you need why do you need to do this? Because this is what we do. Why? This is just what we do as a living. But, but you are going into a religious place where people... Showing the utmost respect. No, you're not yes, showing respect are. because leave it alone. We show it's the, a churchyard. We it show is the not, utmost it's respect. It's not a cemetery. And we document it all. It's not a graveyard. It's a churchyard. People are buried there. The people who live around here care about the people who are buried there. Right, okay. They want them to rest in peace. What they don't want is people coming and using our village and our private churchyard for thrills and spills. What you do is wrong. You might not see it as wrong, but it bloody well is. Go away. Well, if you to be here. if you want who off the church off the vicar, I doubt it because the church doesn't want you there, and neither does the village. It is public property. It isn't public property. It's church property. It's common. Ground. It isn't common ground. That churchyard belongs to the Church of England. It's hallowed ground. It's for people who have a Christian religion to like bury. Myself. You are not Christians because if you were, you wouldn't do this. Yes, I am. I'm no, a you're not. I mean, no, you, you're you not. You can get the police involved if you like. You can ring the police and they'll they'll tell you that we're allowed in there. You are not allowed in. The vicar doesn't want you there. So how are you allowed in? Well, the police will tell you if we're not enough. We police. don't want you there. Well, the village. You, you don't want no, to no. Village. I don't go to church. I am not saying I'm a Christian. And why are you so angry then? Because it's I. It's a Friday night. Because I respect other people's religion. Because I respect the fact that this is private, hallowed ground, and you should not be going in there. People are buried there to rest in peace. I respect that you don't. Oh, we do. No, you don't. You don't know us. I know that you're going in. You don't know us no, at all. So you, how can you make that judgment? Because what you're doing is wrong, and no, why can't not. you? See? Yes, it is. You're pretty much saying we can't walk into a graveyard. Yeah. I'm That's saying, what you're saying. I am saying that you should let. The Christian religion allow the people who they oh, paid yeah, we, a we, lot of money there to, one, to rest in peace. We're only going to one location. In the we're only going to one is, person. But Alice Nutter Alice isn't there. But that's what we're telling the story about how there was a conspiracy that a body was taken from Lancaster and put there. But why do you have to keep saying it? We all know it. Well, no, not, not, not yes, people people do. Do. Yes, they do. But it doesn't really matter, does it? Yes, it does. Well, then what's, no, the point it, of, what's the point I mean, of arguing? Want, do, do you want people keep coming up here and thinking there's the there? That's what we're, we're telling the true story. Come on, do we're you know something? The story. Whether she's there or not is irrelevant because well, it is, we're telling the story about her and how she was wrongfully convicted of witchcraft. I, I have. 
written a novel about this area, okay. yeah? I'm worried that I'm gonna attract people like you. We're not doing anything wrong, though. We're yeah, you're here to you cause can't anybody judging harm. hard. We're I'll tell you why I'm judging hard. Because we are inundated with this. You don't understand what it's like to live here. We are inundated with people like you walking around the you village know people at like night. Us. You're, you're all judging. Sort, all sorts of people. You come right. in here. You're making No, assumption. look at it from my point of view, no, right? I, 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 get it. I live here. We are inundated with people doing seances, trying to raise the oh, dead. We don't, we don't, we don't it do doesn't that. matter, no. but from my yeah. point of view, yeah, I'm tired of it. Because the truth is, it was a gruesome history that we should be ashamed of. Yeah, and shouldn't more people know about it? I mean, Alice Nutter would be ashamed that she can't have a story told because she was wrongfully convicted. She was a powerful woman. How she was, she was every, a rich woman. How is she supposed to rest peacefully when people don't know the truth? That's why we're doing what we're doing. But you know what? The people around here, all the people who live in this village, all of us, we know that. Yeah, but, not the, yeah, yeah, but, but you're the world not entitled doesn't. to keep that from, from the world. You, that's, the world that's knows selfish. it. No, it's, they don't. Yes, they, don't. they do because it's common sense. Then why sense. would they still come here if they knew it? They come here because it's constantly publicised. Ma'am. In the wrong way. You publicise a place and you get people coming up. And the fact is that people like you creeping around at night. There's all <laughs> We're people. We're not creeping around. I mean, you, there's, there's like people. Creeping. You're in our village. There's people, old people who live here. And we're not who, causing them any who, harm. Yes, you or, are. Or because you're them. strangers walking around at night. Strangers. This, the, the, the churchyard I mean, is... Right, okay. this the churchyard, silly. If you would like but the churchyard the police, is locked it's, for a reason. It's not locked right now. It's hallowed. Well, locked. it should be. No, it shouldn't be. Because they only lock it at 2 a.m. It's hallowed ground. It's public ground. Do you believe you like in God? The police, then, then oh, fall, I won't get the police because the police won't do anything. You're in the wrong. No, I'm trying to persuade you that oh, you're, you're in the wrong. To be honest, all you're doing is, is persuading me. Because you're not listening. Wrong. No, no, it's not. It's you're not you came listening. With the, wrong attitude. You came the attitude the wrong I have, attitude. the attitude I have, is that I believe in spirituality and I, be, I believe in. So, so do I look at the state. I've got I crystals. absolutely I, do. I, 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 I'm what do you think I'm wearing on my arm if I'm not a, if I'm not a spiritual person? Do you know what that is? And look at me. I, I, I carry do sage. You? I carry cross. sage everywhere I go. Do you know whose cross it is? I don't actually. Why not? Maybe he's not educated in spirituality, and maybe that's why documentaries like this need to be made because this the stuff that you're speaking we, about is something that that the whole world what, should know. What the documentary needs to focus on is what telling people to stay away. Is it is to do it during the day first of all? You don't have to do it at night. Do it during the day. So if you came back in the day, you'd be fine. Yeah, I would. What? What difference does that make? It because make you're not disturbing the village at night, you disturb me tonight. You say you're not disturbing people, well, you disturb me. Do you actually believe? Have you actually seen a spirit? I'm asking you this. Not in person. Christ Almighty, well, I have. Tell your story. That's fair. Tell you my story. I don't need if to tell my religion to anybody. If I told you, no, I won't even speak it. Why don't you come with us and show you that we're not disrespecting anything? Let's not fall out, right? Because we could easily fall out about this. Yeah. What are you hoping to find? Not sure. We're looking to see if we can find anything. This is Alice's grave. Yeah, and as you can see here, you've got the skull and the cross there. Do you understand what this means, by the way? This is a Latin symbol. It's called Momentus Mori. And it was very common on graves of that era. And it's a warning to people that you must die. Okay. And what it means is we are all the same. No matter what your station in life, you will die and we are all the same. It's not a sign of evil. Right. It's just a warning that this is it. And it could be if Alice was buried there, it, they were saying we're all the same. It's just sad that like a lot of people don't know or understand those things. That's why we do what we do. Yeah. We've interacted yeah. with children's spirits many times. Yeah. Yeah. And we never do it in a way to raise the dead or to bring or conjure yeah. negative energy. It's always out of the utmost respect for the spirits and we treat them as if they're living people and we're talking and having a conversation. Oh, Nothing more sure. than just trying to learn from them because they know so, more than we do. That's why they're on the other side. I believe there's a time and a place in a seance and a graveyard of any is not really appropriate but we were never here to do a seance nothing like that so um right in terms of where we go tonight then we to go to um, quarries. What, what do you think of the forest okay. well then in that case we can attempt to communicate with whoever's there whatever's there if it gets bad we leave 
because we never try to interact with dark negative energy by any means. But that's also the risk we take doing what we do because yeah. that's yeah. that's just comes with the territory. Okay, so that was obviously completely unexpected. I mean, you guys know we don't go into places abandoned or haunted with the intention of disrespecting or defiling anything. We don't vandalize, we don't steal, we don't do anything like that. We do nothing but document history in the most respectful way possible. But I understand where that lady was coming from. I mean, what do, what do you guys think about what just went on? Being in such a private and such a local area, I can see if someone's kids buried there and then people are gonna go somewhere in there and generally might tick them off but again I mean ghost hunting I mean people do ghost tours in cemeteries we've been good ghost hunting in Waverly we had kids it, 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 it's not it's just it's 50-50. There's no right and wrong here. It's just everyone's opinions are different. In my opinion, I would have been kind of down because I was only down to film Allison's grave. No one story of anything would have even been shown. But it's all good. I mean, we've never stole. I, I like what you said about the abandoned, like taking or stealing things. Like, dude, we've right. been so legit about everything since we started. So I mean, as a dad, I was just like, when she brought the, the kid, I was just like, yeah, okay. I mean, I thought she was just a crazy woman at first. Well, oh, she yeah. was. I mean, yeah. She was like just over too. here trying to like, don't go ghost hunting. But like when she brought up the fact that there's actually recent graves and stuff. like well, that's, I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. And that's when I was like, oh, I mean, now I feel a little yeah. bad. Like, especially the little boy, like you said. I don't know. The like recent jo graves. Yeah, things, like yeah. Josh said, it is 50-50 because it kind of just comes with the territory. You don't know who you're talking to when you investigate. Anybody or anything can pop up. But that's the risk that we take in order to get the evidence that we need to tell our story or tell other people about what's going on. And that is the whole point of what we were trying to do today was communicate or get some kind of contact with Alice Nutter, the supposed witch that was tortured and buried here. We don't know anything really about her. No one really knows the truth. We don't know if she was actually a witch. We don't know if she was really innocent. At the end of the day, we're just trying to be as respectful as possible. No one here is trying to cause trouble in any way. But one thing's for certain, she went from saying there's nothing here at all, mm. to saying the quarry is the root of all the evil. I all know. Very the damn going on in this village yeah. is all yeah. coming from the quarry. And she said, she kept saying over and over oh I don't get scared of anything but she did say that the quarry Gave makes her, her uneasy yeah. and supposedly that evil energy that she keeps talking about is only there because she said she has seen people doing satanic rituals at I the know. quarry you were there with Elton you saw the shit that went down there you guys haven't seen that video you know you should check it out because we might be getting into something pretty bad. similar pretty bad so not only could we be in danger from evil spirits the, the devil the, the devil we could be in physical danger as well. We have absolutely no idea what we're walking into. I mean, what you got to remember is there's 400 years of hauntings and seances at this place, mm -hmm. going back to the early 1600s where the witch Demdike herself used to summon the devil in the quarry. The quarry. That's right. And feed her familiar spirit, which mm -hmm. was a wolf that used to suck blood from her armpit. So there's stuff been going on here for centuries. And that's where we're going. And tonight. it's buried deep rock is embedded in the foundations of that place. What the hell was that? I know, I just heard like a... I like heard that too. What the, the fuck car. was that? Like someone like tapped our car. Yo, is there... Is that car blocking the road? Oh, what? I don't know. Oh, no, I don't know. Is that car... What's that car doing? What car? That car. It's just parked like there. But your what? roads are small. I don't know. No, that but the, I saw someone in the, behind that lamppost in the mirror. There's, There's a someone, flashing white light down what? there. Is someone tapping the car? I thought somebody did. Turn the lights on, sir. Yeah, yeah. Dude, That's I saw a flashing white light down there, I swear to God. I don't oh, you know, no. someone tapped on the window. Uh, the That's door's locked? Thought. Yeah, don't but, but, but this is as you're talking about the satanic stuff. I know, I know, I don't like that. I don't see nothing now. <laughs> Shoot! Oh, Holy fuck. God, you guys boys. Are... Everyone's gonna think that we faked that or that it was bullshit. No, I swear to God, we all heard the exact you same thing. You probably picked that up on the road, Mike. Maybe. He definitely did. I mean, cause I, I mean, it hurt. Oh my God. All right, enough. It's time to go to the quarry. Pray for us. Pray for us because we're about to investigate some potentially very dark stuff. Ugh. 
God damn. Yo. So this just came in my head. If we're going into the quarry right now, yeah. and the girl says she's seen people that did satanic rituals, what if we run into other people doing satanic rituals? Well, that's the issue. Yeah. And the other thing that catches my attention is why would she be out here anyways? We're kind of actually far from wherever she walked from. Why would she just be out here by herself? That's, that's kind of weird, that's right? That's actually a really good point. How could she see it? Yeah, because we're not even... There's I mean, nobody's there's house. Yeah. There's Dan's no been here before, so he's the only other one. And the thing is, is you'll see, we're going to walk around here. It's completely out of sight. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, I don't know. There's a lot about this girl that just airs me a bit. I don't know. Needless to say, we're not making good decisions tonight, so we might as yeah. well just keep going. Well, guys, if we, you know, die out here, it was an honor serving with you both. Yeah, I mean, our first video, it's already creepy as hell and weird. Yeah. It's definitely a weird first video, but it is the UK. A lot of, there's a lot of weirdos in the UK. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. True. Really yeah. true. Dan agrees, so it's not like I'm being rude. Yeah. Wait, it was right here? The rituals all happen right this here. This is the quarry. So guys, we are literally just in the middle of a huge quarry, a huge rock formation. It is so dark out here. Our lights aren't even really showing you what we're in the middle of, but we're basically standing at the bottom of a cliff right now, just completely surrounded by rocks, grass, and complete silence and darkness. But it is said that this exact location is where the rituals and all these other different things went on and where, what was the witch's name? Demdike. Demdike would come and what, feed her familiar and make deals with the devil and yeah. shit like that crazy stuff so we're standing in the main like focal point this is where all the rocks are kind of just like circled around and this is really where we're gonna try to investigate i mean we're surrounded in the hills and the rocks it's it's gonna be crazy but let me show you what gear we got so obviously you guys know good old remy it's gonna be great i hope it goes off we have another rem pod right over there k2 obviously all of these things detect motion and electromagnetic frequencies we also got dan's fancy schmancy custom made rem pod that looks cooler than anything me and Josh own. Kind of, it's, it's pretty cool. damn cool. Yeah. It is really cool. <laughs> and then we have a music box up here, which is also Dan's, which <laughs> detects motion. So if something walks in front of it like so, it'll play a creepy little tune. We're also gonna put cat balls around all the equipment just in case it happens to go off. You never know. We wanna get as much evidence as we can that something or someone is here. Let's get into this. All right, I'm gonna oh just, my God, all right. Wait, we should, we, we should introduce ourselves. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Probably. who's going first? first. Okay, I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Dan. I mean, you no harm. Just want to communicate with you. Specifically, Dan Dyke herself. If you're out there in the shadows, we're here to speak to you. My name's Josh. I'm from the United States of America, and I traveled all the way over here just to meet who's ever haunting this land. Whether you're evil or not, I'm here to talk to you. My name is Seth. I'm also from the United States of America. I'm here to communicate with whoever wants to communicate with us tonight. Good, evil, indifferent. Let us know who you are, and if you want to talk to us, come forward. We have a bunch of devices you can use to communicate. What? You didn't hear like the growl? A growl? Was that like like I was I was talking to? Unless that was my coat. But I didn't hear a thing. I heard like like a, the most evilest growl. I don't. Know, I thought it was right over here. Oh, it's all in my fucking head. Whatever. All you need to do, go near some of these devices, and they will go off. They'll make noise, music lights all you need to do is go near them they won't harm you they're just here to let us know that you want to communicate all i'm going to say is have my back i'll have your back and you're and just screwed okay i'll you have think your the rocks got my back though? i'll have your back you have his back and and you watch both of our backs yeah you watch both of us no you <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah you're right i'll watch both of you guys all right no promises though i'm just saying all right here we go are any of the witches still here lingering in the shadows Was that it? It sounded a yeah. yes. That sounded yeah. like a yes. That was a yes. Yeah. I could play it back real quick. Did it? Watch. Yes, clear. That said yes. That was clear. And that was a girl's voice, oh by the way. Oh my god. What the f was that? Whoa. That was a f growl. I told you I heard the growl. What the f is that? Hey, hey, look, 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 look. It's yellow. But there's no, there's no noise. Just so you guys know, that should be resting at green, but it's reading yellow, which means that there's some kind of electromagnetic disturbance in the area. I don't see anything. Yeah, I did too, bro. Yeah, that was, it was creepy. Yeah. Oh, it's gone off. It's gone too. See, see, guys. Now it's back down to green, which means that whatever was there is no longer here, and I'm standing in the exact same spot. So it could not have been me. That's 
It's true. So guys, we just did a quick EVP session. Really, really fast burst session. We heard a growl off in the distance. We all heard the exact same thing. Then after that, it answered all three of our questions, but the only one that we could actually hear with the human ear was when Dan asked if the witches were still here and it said yes. So let's just keep going, I guess. <laughs> so you said yes, the witches are still here. Does that mean it's you, Dem Dyke? If that's you, tell me. So you said yes, the witches are still here. Does that mean it's you, Dem Dyke? If that's you, tell me. <gasps> it's me. <gasps> Holy it said Hold on. I don't know what you, it's saying. It, 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 it said it's me or said yeah. Tell me. I don't know, I don't know if it said it's me. It's not. It, so it sounds like it's down. Watch. It's saying yes in the most yes. evilest crowd. That's Dem Dyke. Dem Dyke. I don't mean to be forceful, but I really want to speak to you. Would you come into our circle, please? This is where we'll find out. Yes, I will. Yes, sir. Yes, my. Yes, I will. Can you tell me who you make? Who you used to make deals with here? Who did you make deals with at this spot? Sounds like Dev, Bill. Mm. Dude, I don't know what the f just happened right there. I just started shaking really f bad. I mean, we asked some serious questions now. Like, and lastly, if it truly is you, can you tell me one of the names of the other witches, please? I heard it sounded like it said Nutter. This we, one was tough. I couldn't yeah. really hear what was being said. Allison Nutter, can you please talk to us? Are you buried here? Allison Nutter, can you please talk to us? Are you buried here? Are you in Lancaster? Are you buried in Lancaster? Or are you buried by the church here? Mm -mm, but that was a whole sentence. Yeah. Allison, they say you were a witch. Was that true? All right, we're gonna hear it right now. They say you were a witch. Was that true? No. All right, so we have one thing we should probably try here, and we should ask the question. I mean, the question is, it's gonna. I believe it's going to kick things off of past experience. You guys okay with that? I mean, yeah. I'm okay because Dan's asking it. Yeah, I'm okay <laughs> as long as no one runs, right? It starts to really kick off and you want to leave. We pack sensibly, no rushing because it is slippy here and stuff. Let's just make our way out sensibly. I don't want to be running out, like, away yeah. from each other. That's the last no, thing I want. So no. if we're in agreement with that, I'll, I'll ask. Okay. So this is the place to come. If you want to make a deal with the devil, So can we make a deal? So this is the place to come if you want to make a deal with the devil. So can we make a deal? Yes. It said yes. It said yes. If there is anything here that does make deals, you're going to have to let us know that you're here. 
Oh, we'll see it. It's, did Whoa. it say here or yes? Again, one of them it said here or yes. That was a really deep voice. That's not the same voice either. That's mm -hmm. not the woman's voice. That's so they will voice. make a deal, or they want to. Okay, well, respectfully. Well, obviously, I'm not making. Not even respectfully. Said, yeah, respectfully, no, we're not making I'm any not. deals. We <laughs> stand over there, film the circle because we might be stood in a spot so they can't really enter. Maybe if we stand out of the circle a bit and observe them over there, you never know stuff like that's not going off. We should Indeed. just try it. Maybe do the spirit box from over there. Yeah, um, tell you what, I had my fingers crossed when he said that we were gonna make a deal, so. I mean, no, in all seriousness, oh, we we're not. Yeah, I just wanna make it clear, I do not want to make a deal with the devil. It's not my intention at all. Sorry if it's annoyed you. Oh, oh. What? Oh, Whoa. Oh, oh. Red party. As we're talking about the devil, dude, I swear to God. Okay. And now it's off. Are you happy that we moved out of your spot? Is that why you weren't using our devices? Was it because we were standing in your circle? Oh, oh my god. Holy f bro. That's kind of f Okay. But it's oh, I was I was just gonna ask if it was if it could step away. Is Allison with us? If she is. Holy sh going off every every question. Isn't it weird that it's the same light? But that one's not that going was, off. Yeah, because the ghost is, I'm assuming, by this Might be sat on the rock for all we know. Unless it's whatever the f was You mean? do anything else. Yeah. Anything at all. Yep. Oh, what? Dude. It, like, it was like, it even uh, was poking uh, uh, the thing. Find the best setting here. Did, did you see that? Yeah. That rim pod just went off. The it, back one? Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa! What did that just say? It said, welcome to what? I don't know. Is that- who's- who's lighting the ramp pot up? Is there somebody out here with us? Whoa, 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 whoa yellow, yellow! Closer. They're touching that. They oh, it's coming closer. It's like- oh my god, it looks like it walked over towards me. Can you tell us your name? Uh, we just want to know who you are. Can you tell us your name? We don't want to make a deal with you. Who's that? You heard that too? Huh? It legit sounded like somebody. <sighs> yeah, it was like right here. Bro, are I'm... you surrounding us? Oh, I almost just fell. <laughs> you... oh, Yo. Oh. Who are you? What do you want with us? Green. They keep going off, dude. Mm -hmm. They're here, but they're not like doing, they're just sitting here. Someone. Hey, set something else off. If it's truly you, and not just the, the REM pod. Set the one off. Same one. Same one. Whoa. Whoa. It's getting like powerful or something. Whoa! 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 Whoa. Bro. They're both they're both going off Bro. at the same time! Yo! Holy shit. Dude. I gotta get off this rock before I bust my ass. Oh my god. Both at the same time. That was insane. How how many times do you ever see a rem Oh, it's an entity on here. No, it that didn't. That was an entity and it said it on this. No, it didn't. Yeah, you'll hear it. Oh, you'll oh, hear oh. it on the Said, hey, hey, hey. Is there someone evil with us? I just have someone evil with us and it went green. Dude, that, the room pod's going off so much that I actually don't even know if it's true. Like, I, like I, I'm like genuinely- Like it could be broken, right? Like it's going off so much. It never goes off this I much. I know that, that's what I was saying. Dude, have you ever seen room pods go off this much? Uh, Wait. not- What are you saying? Is Jesus Christ with us? Did I just say he's a weak? Oh no. It's weird. Is there another kind of god with us? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, that just lit up every single light! Another kind of god. Fuck, Fuck you! Holy oh. shit! Oh. It just said Fuck you! Tell me not! Oh my god, it definitely did! Hey! Did it hey! It an evil hey! Hey! Did that just say Fuck you? And now it's going green. Dude! I don't, I don't even know what to say. Alright, so look, you're, you're messing with us. 
You're not really communicating. Can you please tell us who you are? It's saying evil or that devil. I'm hearing evil. it. You heard evil too. It said evil. If, if you're evil, say it clearly, please. Too much? The devil. The oh. I heard the devil. I swear to God, I heard it through this. I'm telling you now. I swear to God, I heard it. I'm telling you now. We're, we're messing with things that we shouldn't be messing with. I know it. It can't be. No, dude, I heard it. Can't it can't be the real, like. You don't know. Is it truly you? Are we in danger? Holy, holy sh! Ah! Whoa, what whoa. The, I don't know. Whoa. What the f is that? It. Are you My good? Back. I don't know. Bro, Hang on, bro. What the f what did you just do then? Bro, I didn't do what? anything, but I just felt like a really bad pain in my back. What do you like, like a scratch, like an actual, like like a dagger. No, are you serious? No, I swear to God. I swear to God, I'm, like, I'm not joking. I mean, dude, I, I believe you, but like... Like, I'm not, I'm actually not joking. I mean, you, All the batteries broke. Are you okay? I mean, I think so, but that... Hang on, hang on, we're f***ing with something we shouldn't be. Hang on, no, like, I'm actually not f***ing around, like, for real. Like, I'm actually serious. I mean, I caught it on camera. Oh, oh, oh the cat ball's going off! Where? Behind cat the REM pod! Ball, cat ball's going off! Cat ball's going off! Oh, that's going! Oh my God, bro! Yo, okay, okay. Yo, for real, someone just check my back. Hey, I can't even got a feeling. Like for real. Uh, Look, I if you're if you're if you're starting to physically touch us now, you need to back off. Man, is there actually a scratch or something? Like for real, I'm not f***ing around. Like lift this up. Holy oh, God! Like for real? Josh, you gotta be f***ing kidding me, right? Josh. No, I'm not, dude. Josh. Like for you're not no, no, dude, Josh. no, dude. Hold on, hold on, hold on a second. You gotta be. Kidding me, Josh? Have you done this? No. No, promise me. No, I, bro, I promise. I was just with you. Like I, you guys see me this whole time. I've been recording this whole time. Josh, um, I think we need to close down and leave. We need, yeah, this, no, we're done. We need this, to go. This is, uh, this is it. How, is it? Am I bleeding? No, no but no. like you got f***ing clawed, bro. Like you, there was like for real, for real. There is claw marks. It hurt. It oh, actually, shit. I've never been scratched. I've never had anything like this happen. I thought it was all, like, I thought this part could be fake. Like, Bro, be there is claw marks. There's six claw marks. It starts there and goes to, to down to here, and there's six of them. So it's not like, it's like, see, that's what I'm saying. It's not like five. No, no, there's dude. Six, this, like, for real. Six claw marks. Look, I've been, I've been scratched before. I've seen that shit. Yo, you, 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 you think got, we should get sage or something? No, we get up the f out. Okay, okay, no. Seriously? Calm down. Let's calm. Let's chill. Chill, chill, chill. Right. Let's pack up. Let's Yo, let's just pack car. up. I don't even know what it looks like. We're gonna sage the car, right? right. We're gonna we're gonna sage the car, right? Yeah. We're gonna sage the car. Yeah. Yo. Um, we're gonna That's... sage it. All right. Look. That's we're, scary. We're, do for we're real. done like, with I'm this investigation. Scared. We're gonna, All right. We're gonna save the car. Uh huh. To so whatever spirit or entity that's here, this investigation is over. This communication is over. You do not follow us. You are not welcome to follow us. You stay here and you leave us alone. We want no further contact. Yeah, do at all. Don't follow me. I don't know. I'm, I can't, I'm like freaking out. I don't even want to talk. We apologize if we disrespected you in any way. I'm but like this is this is done. Chill, chill, chill. We're all good. Yeah, we're fine. We're good. All right. We're all together. Don't panic. I I actually don't even know what to say about that. That I thought I thought we were getting like decent communication, and then when that fucking happened, I, I don't know. I'm so, I'm I'm genuinely so scared right now. No, like I'm actually feeling like. Shit. I've never seen you react that way to something before. We've been doing this no, for so either. long. We've filmed tons of places. No, I know, dude. Like, trust me, I know. I'm like freaking <laughs> out. Right. Dude, I'm oh. shaking, bro. I know you're shaking. I'm 